Hello all, welcome to Langer's Legion. I'm Langer and let's talk Star Wars Legion. Probably like a great many of you watching this video, I got into Star Wars Legion because, well, I'm a Star Wars fan. And as some might not know, I'm actually relatively new to the tabletop wargaming scene, only really been playing it for the last nine months or so. But obviously just seeing Star Wars being played on that scale really kind of brought me to it in that level of immersion of trying to take on an Imperial army or a rebel army in battling, you know, Darth Vader versus Luke Skywalker, or maybe we got Han Solo going up against a swarm of stormtroopers. But the miniatures and the characters and the heroes is just one aspect uh, of the game that I really enjoy. The other is just the terrain or how you can set that up to be more of an actual world on the mat or on the tabletop. And that's one thing that I've kind of learned in my brief time in miniature war game. It's how do you get those hills, those trees, those bunkers, whatever it is, to really bring that tabletop to life and help with that immersion. And I've done a couple things where I've got a 3D printer, so I've made some trees. Uh, I've raided the local Michael store and made trees and flocked them. Or, you know, use the classic styrofoam, you know, build those out. Whatever it is you're doing, you're always trying to find a way to make that table experience a little better, a little easier, and just kind of fulfill that immersion. But I know not everybody has the ability to for a 3D printer, or maybe you're just not crafty. Like I'm not that crafty. I just you know watch a lot of YouTube videos for this stuff. Um, or maybe it's just about a speed and getting things to the tabletop. Well, I might have an option for you in the form of some good toys that you can use for your tabletop to kind of bring a better Star Wars experience. And for example, we're talking about the Star Wars Mission Fleet line of toys. And I've got here uh, Fire Spray, as they recall it. But of course, for me of a certain age, this will always be Slave One. And there's just something to be said about something that you can buy relatively inexpensive. This was $25. And you just pull out of the box and it's table ready. And there's no fuss, there's no muss. Now, granted, I do enjoy painting the trees and that hobby aspect of it. But just like kind of the slop chop method of painting miniatures, Sometimes you don't want to spend all that time getting things uh, you know, up and running and ready to go. There are a couple options that Star Wars uh, Mission Fleet brings that you can leverage. I just showed you the uh, Slave One model. They have Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, as well as they've got Moff Gideon in a TIE Fighter, but really it's just a, it's a classical TIE Fighter, though you can, um, the wings will fold kind of how it lands if you've seen it in the Mandalorian, but of course don't fold them in, it can do a stand-in. Um, for a traditional TIE fighter to, to kind of put in your landscape. Now, granted, I understand that not everybody wants to spend money on these things or there's a certain dollar amount, but I can tell you these are pretty reasonably priced. Uh, I got the TIE fighter, Moff Gideon's TIE fighter for $10. Like I said, I paid $25 for um, the Slave One or the uh, Spitfire as they call it. Darth Vader's TIE fighter, which did come in. Oddly enough, it was the most expensive of the three, even though it's probably the smallest of the three at around $30, and granted I got all these from Amazon. And just from a scale perspective, I'm gonna roll kind of some B-roll here and a couple of photos, just to give you a sense of what these models really look like, and the kind of the scale of how they fit for Star Wars Legion. And they're not perfect, but they're close enough, to, again, just to bring that level of realism you know, to your tabletop. So let's roll that real quick. And as you can see, these toys look great, especially for the price point that you're paying for them. They're gonna bring a lot of realism or that more of that Star Wars fantasy uh, to your tabletop. Beyond these ships, I do know there's a few other in the line, but some do look a little too cartoonish or a little bit out of scale 
to use for the tabletop in Star Wars Legion. Kind of the Millennium Falcon I looked at. I looked at the X-Wing. Granted, these are for pictures online, but they do look a little too cartoonish, and I don't think they would really fit with the aesthetic, as well as these three examples do. But I have heard, no, and I don't, I don't own it, so I can't verify this, the Razor Crest uh, for Mandalorian uh, is supposed to look really good and be pretty accurate size-wise to the tabletop. If you have the X-Wing or any of these other ships uh, that you've purchased and you're using for the tabletop and you have thoughts or comments on them, please leave them in the comments below. That way we can just help others out build a better table. So with that, I thank you for your time. And until I see you in the next video, hail to the Empire.